The Real Slim Shady is a song by American rapper Eminem from his third album, The Marshall Mathers LP, in 2000. Pop Matters described the song as slamming their enemies with comic book intensity, while also noting its ironic theme surrounding the number of near-identical wannabes due to Eminem's overall appearance, citing his signature style, which bore bleach blonde hair, pale skin, and humongous t-shirts. With the Real Slim Souls like please stand up now originally this is going to be a video about Wu Chang Fallen Feathers this is an upcoming another Souls like game that was showed during the Xbox showcase so of course I was digging around and I was like oh I want to know more information about this game if you've been watching me for a while you know I'm a madman I start connected to pieces I'm like Rain Man is just Wait, losers there, man. I have to seek information how a game was created who's the dev team how long they've been on it so I went down my rabbit hole per usual so apparently this game will actually show gameplay in back in 2021 one. So once I start looking at the gameplay, I personally I initially went, huh, this looks familiar. Kind of looks like Bloodborne. So I went and typed in Wu Chang Fallen Feathers times Bloodborne. And lo and behold, back in 2021, right when I first started this channel, and I didn't even know what the term Souls Like even meant, there was a big controversy because the identical side by side comparisons to this game and Bloodborne, how they just blatantly, I mean, blatantly just ripped off all things bloodborne i mean from the sound from the death animations from the environments people have already did side by side comparisons check this out It's like they went to YouTube, downloaded on Google, and, and extracted the audio from Bloodborne and just overlaid it on their freaking <laughs> on their gameplay. I mean, it's disgusting. But again, this game was technically supposed to come out in 2024, and the studio that's actually creating the game, they're fairly new. They've only created one game under their belt is a game called ad 2047 which is a vr game it's a chinese studio that was developed in 2016 if you're looking at me right now i'm not even reading anything because i've read over this a million times so you know your boys crap. and on this channel i've showed a lot of love to the chinese souls like games that's come out like black mitch wukong wulong fallen dynasty wu chang fallen feathers they really got to get creative with these names you know the chinese market as for video games console video games is definitely increasing but they're all jumping on the souls like bandwagon but so then i took a step back i said you know what this is not just a wu chang fallen feathers problem this is an industry problem worldwide i actually had wrote in my notes about two weeks ago that i wanted to do a video questioning if souls like is starting to ruin the creativity in the gaming space and this is all just connected on top of all these slim shady all these imposters all these copycats of from software that's been emerging over the last i don't know decade or so now there have been some that found their own way games like the noah series from team ninja they have found their own style their own souls like energy and they have their own fan base so they're good another game liza p they took the souls like formula kind of flipped it on his head and made a better version in my opinion than what from software has did with sicko and bloodborne i know i know that's blasphemy what is this guy talking about those games are the greatest games of all time listen to me i fought the nameless puppet at the end of that game for two weeks straight and i'm a bot i use mimics i do the whole i do everything that a lot of you toxic soul like motherfuckers really really hate and when i tell you this i mean this when i say this if liza p a few other people have said this as well I'm not unique in this thought process. If Liza P opening stream did not say Lil Wiz Games and that shit said From Software, this would be the second coming to video game Jesus. From Software fans would be all over this shit because that game is absolutely phenomenal. But I'm not going to go on a Liza P rant. I got another video saved for later in the year when the DLC comes out and the algorithm's going to actually push my fucking videos, okay, and not get fucking smushed. So I got to wait. I can't be creative. I can't go outside the box. I get punished. So I'm going to chill on that. But just know I got some fucking smoke for Liza P and how I did not get the credit it deserved. Because that game is literally the fucking hardest game I've ever played. 
even more so than Elden Ring. And I'm on New Game Plus 2 right now in other games. But that's just my opinion. Comment down below what's your thoughts. Be respectful. I'm going to fucking block you. Now, back to Wu-Chang Fallen Feathers. So I would imagine between 2016, them starting develop, them creating, uh, them starting development on AD 2047. And in 2021, when they made the initial reveal, even though now they've been rebranded as the first reveal of Wu-Chang, that is incorrect. The first reveal was back in 2021. They had gameplay, as I said, in the entire thing. So I'm guessing between that and like COVID happening and now Xbox has swooped in, gave them the bag to create their own version of Black Myth Wukong, which Xbox won't be getting till later date. Now, I've always had an issue with plagiarism and video games and just this, this entire internet atmosphere, even with Power World debuted. So whenever Power World popped off a few months ago, I was the first one on YouTube to make a video basically detailing how they plagiarized Pokemon, in my opinion, but I guess they really didn't took inspiration. The lines get very fucking blurry, you know what I'm saying? Because everyone technically copies everything. I mean, every game now is like what? A God of, uh, people say God of War type combat, even though third person's RP action RPGs was around way before God of War did it, but not how well they did it. So those lines gets blurry, depends on who you talk to. But the problem right now is with Souls Like, it's saying like people are burnt out on Souls Like. You, you don't know how many times I've saw in the comments whenever we see a new trailer. Please don't let it be Souls Like. God, I know the Souls Like. And honestly, with just coming off this last Summer Game Fest sh showcase, we know when I say Summer Game Fest, that means former E3, whatever you want to fucking call it. Summer Game Fest season, because that's what it is. Uh, So many games look so fucking similar chinese or the japanese setting is a samurai boom 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 i think we saw like three or four over the course of all the showcases and they all literally blend together you know besides black man wukong which we've been seeing that for a while even uh phantom blade zero which i'm very excited about turns out that's not going to be a souls like people was rejoicing previews for black man wukong came out turns out that's not technically a souls like has souls like elements they call it souls light and now that i'm a super souls like fan you know i love souls like games you know i, I dig it but less than two years ago i was not i was on the other side of the fence of everyone else that's saying oh my god just give me an action rpg give me a difficulty setting give me a story i saw i can see both sides and i understand that but right now it seems like these games they throw souls like on it they put some big boss some big boss battles in there and they think it's all fine and then look at laws of the fallen that game looked phenomenal from the trailers the set pieces was great and for the second time in my opinion that game is just did not hit the mark uh, in nature the last song uh very good concept it's italy so it's like i played the game here on the channel i gotta pay to play the game here on the channel and it just still doesn't have a from software game that's why it's very difficult to get that shit right because from software has laid the groundwork for their own genre of gaming so when you go when these games go in and try to replicate that and it's not different to the point that it's good or just completely outshining from software which nobody's going to do then it's going to be very difficult but the problem is right now i think it's just ruining creativity in games and it's not even talking about the fucking the battle pass the live service and the you know the third person looter shooter hero shooter games that's a whole another section of fucking just ugh. we're just tired of it we're tired of the same genre and we need something different but on the other side of that is when you do get something different like Liza P that's actually good people sleep on it you know because it doesn't say from software but good news for you all two of the biggest games that's getting ready to come out Phantom Blade Zero and Black Myth Wukong will be accessible to everybody so for that I say Won't the real Slim Shady please stand up